Hi, what's up, everybody? Good to be back with you again today. And we have the uh, Pirates here at the Braves um, in, uh, on May 9th, 1949. And uh, we have interesting weather here for you. We've got the wind blowing out here. We'll have to make sure we get a, a little shot of this one. We've got the wind blowing out here at Braves Field at uh, 28 miles an hour over to left, which means that it's going to be an absolute dream for the man who's coming up here hitting first for the Pirates, um, which is uh, Ralph Kiner. Um, and uh, this is uh, not exactly uh, not exactly great if you're the uh, Boston Braves pitcher, Bill Vozell. Um, the Braves 11 and 10 against the Pirates were 17 and 3. And as you can see, I've changed the lines around a little bit. We have Kiner hitting the first um, position right now, and uh, Ralph takes the ball. 1 and 0 is the count on him, and takes another one for a ball. It's 2 and 0. And there's a strike to him, too, and 1 out the count on Ralph. And uh, there's ball 3 up and high, 3 and 1 the count. And there's a swing and a foul, uh, full count now on uh, Kiner. And there's one foul back again, still full count. And he takes the fastball inside for a walk, and so Kiner gets on base. That's why we have him hitting up there. And here's um, Ed Fitzgerald, who we have as the starting catcher. He's hitting great so far this season. They're only 18 um, at-bats. One and two is the count on Fitzgerald. He pulls one over to left center field, and that's going to be a base hit. And that's a double for Fitzgerald as he scores Kiner. And right from the beginning, the uh, lineup pays off. And here comes Danny Murtaugh. Murtaugh takes the ball high. And there's a strike in there right at the knees, one and one. There's a ground ball over to third base. Elliott, who freezes Fitzgerald at second, throws to first for the out, one away. And here's P. Castiglione. Castiglione uh, gets behind him and won the count on him. And there's one high. It's a one and one count now. And he swings and misses a one off speed, one and two. Fastball too low. It's two and two on him. And there's a check swing roll back, roller back to Voisel, the mound, who throws to first for the out, two away. And here's Eddie Bachman. So the Pirates having a hard time picking up the second runner as the count now is two and oh on Eddie. And uh, there's a fastball right down the heart of the plate for a strike, two and one. And there's one skipped up there, three and one now the count. Bachman swings and misses that one full count now. And uh, he went around on that strike three. And so Voisel able to get out of that jam. Here come the Braves, and it'll be Bob Elia leading off. Hits one over to right field for the first out. Dixie Walker's got it, and that'll bring up Sibby Sisti. I'm not sure that Sisti actually started in real life, but he looks good so far. We have him hitting second. Three and no the count on Sibby. Takes a strike. Three and one is the count on him now. And he hits one over to right field again to Walker for the out two away, and here's Eddie Stanky. You might notice that I'm kind of ignoring the left and right splits here. There's a reason for that, and it probably works to my detriment. Two and one, the count on Stanky. We'll talk more about lefty-right splits later on. Two and two is the count on him. That's fouled back. It's still two and two. Full count now on Eddie. And there's one low and away for ball four, and here comes Connie Ryan. Ryan with a runner on first base. Ryan playing first base. And uh, there's a liner over to Castiglione, the shortstop, who makes it for the out, makes the grab for the out. We go to the top of the second, and here is Johnny Hop. And there's one hit by the mound over to Sisti, the uh, shortstop, who makes the play throws to first for the out. There's one away, and here is Wally Westlake. There's a ball up there high to Westlake, and a uh, breaking ball for a strike, one and one. And there's a swing and a miss at strike two. It's one and two count. Hits a fly ball over to Russell in center field for the out two away, and here's Dixie Walker, who takes a strike. And there's a uh, pitch that misses inside. One and one the count now, and there's a good take on a breaking ball. It's two and one on Walker, and that's fouled back. Two and two is now the count. And uh, there's a roller down to first base to Ryan, who grabs it and goes to the bag for the out. We go to the bottom of the uh, second inning. Here's Jim Russell, and uh, he hits one over to Castiglione, the shortstop. And uh, Castiglione tries to make a play on it and is a little bit too late. Russell with the base hit, and that brings up Marv Rickard here for the Braves. And uh, Rickard fouls one off. Oh, and one the count on him. And oh, and two as he takes a strike. There's one hit over to right center field to a Walker. Dixie's got it for the out, one away, and that brings up Jeff Heath. There's a ball in there to Heath. And throw to first, nothing happening. And there's a strike, one and one the count now on Jeff. And there's a little ground ball to the right side, and that one gets through for a base hit, and uh, we are going to hold Russell at second. Runners in first and second now for the Braves, who have two hits in a row, and here's Phil Macy. Macy uh, takes a ball, and they're not looking for him to bunt, and there's ball two, and now we bunt. Two and no, the count on Macy. And there's one inside for ball three. And we'll square this one to the right side. And it's a good bunt. And that one advances the runners to uh, second and third. Two outs now. Bill Voisel up there, but with two in scoring position. Let's see what Bill can do. And uh, he takes a strike in there tight. And there's another strike. Oh, and two. Now the count on Bill. There's a little weak liner over to center field. And that one gets by Westlake. And Voisel winds up on second base after that error. It's a two to one ball game just like that. And. Uh, that is going to be a single plus an error on Westlake. So they're calling that a single, and then the misplay is what caused both runners to score and Voisel to make it to second. Here comes Bob Elliott. Boy, that bunt looms large now, doesn't it? 1-1 one one the count now on Elliott, runner on second base, and it's 2-1 and one now. There's a swing and a miss at uh, fastball inside, 2-2 two and two the count. 
and he goes around to that one for strike three. And so that ends the scoring for the Braves in the bottom of the second, but they uh, get two back, two to one Boston now. We go to the top of the third. Cliff Chambers, the Pirate starter, p- starting pitchers up there with an 0-2 count on him, and he hits one down the first base line, and that's going to be a single for him, a base hit. And here comes Ralph Kiner, and Kiner can turn this one around in a hurry. Takes the ball low, 1-0 the count. There's a hard hit ground ball down the third base line. That's going to be fair, and Chambers goes all the way to third base on Kiner's double. And uh, that'll bring up Ed Fitzgerald now for the Pirates. Ed hitting 421, though he hasn't had that many at-bats. He takes a ball, and there's a changeup outside for another ball. Two, another count of Fitzgerald, and he hits one deep to center field. And that will be enough to score the runner and to send uh, Kiner to third base as Russell makes the catch out there. The score is 2-2, two to two, and here comes Danny Murtaugh. And, uh, boy, they put a suicide squeeze on, and Murtaugh, unfortunately, just fouls, the one, uh, fouls that bunt off. Otherwise, that would have been exciting. One and two now, the count on Murtaugh with one out, and uh, he goes too far and strikes out. There's two away, and here's Pete Castiglione. There's a ball low to Castiglione, and there's a ground ball over to Stanky at second. Throws to first for the out. We go to the bottom of the third inning, 2-2, tie ball game. Here's Sibby Sisti, who takes a strike, and he hits one right past Castiglione into center field for a base hit. That brings up Eddie Stanky. Sisti's problem is that he's not all that fast, but nobody's that fast. This is 1949. Uh, and Stanky hits a ground ball over to Castiglione, and he uh, ends up having to go to first for the out. They can't catch uh, Sisti at second. One away, and here comes Connie Ryan. And uh, there's a ball high to Ryan, 1-0 and the count. And there's one in the dirt. It's 2-0. and And there's a strike in there, fastball, 2-1. and And there's one high. It's a 3-1 and count now. And that's foul back. Full count now on Connie. And he hits one over to left field that drops in front of Kiner for a base hit. We're going to send Sisti. Let's see how, what his speed is like. And uh, with one out, there's going to be a play at the plate, and he is safe. And uh, that makes this a 3-2 to two ball game. Exciting one here early on. Runner on first base now for Jim Russell. Only one out, bottom of the third inning, 3-2 to two Braves. There's a ground ball over to Bachman at third base. He throws to first for the out, allows Ryan to move up to second. And here comes Marv Rickard now. Runner on second base and two outs, bottom of the third. One and one the count on him, and there's a ground ball over to the hole in uh, the uh, right side, and Hop has it, flips over to Chambers covering. We go to the top of the fourth inning, 3-2 to two Braves now. There's Eddie Bachman who takes a ball, and there's one pop foul, one and one the count, and there's another ball high, two and one, and uh, there's a strike in there, two and two, and uh, the next pitch is close, but called the ball, full count on him, and uh, Bachman hits one over the left field, Heath has it for the out, one away, and here comes Johnny Hop, who uh, takes a ball, and another ball, two and oh the count now on Hop, and there's one inside for ball three of Wazell having some difficulty, and he takes all the way, and he takes his base over at first, That'll bring up Wally Westlake, runner on first base, only one out. And there's a fastball inside for another ball. Voisel really having a hard time here. And there's one hit deep down the left field line. The wind got a hold of that one, and it gets it hits off the fence right behind Heath. That'll send Hop to third as Westlake pulls in with a double, and here comes Walker. And there's a strike in there to Walker. We're keeping the infield back when a game like this with the wind blowing out. And Walker hits one up the middle anyway for a single, and this is going to score one. It might score Westlake as well, and it does, and that's a two-run scoring single for Dixie Walker. Only one out here top of the fourth, and it's a 4-3 to three ball game, and we have that seesaw going again. Cliff Chambers now uh, lays one down, but foul, and another one. Oh, and two, the count on him, and now he takes the ball. It's one and two. And the bunt is good this time out in front of the plate, but Macy's able to grab it, goes over, throws to Sisti, covering the bag a second for the force out. Now there are two outs, and here comes Ralph Kiner. Kiner's one for one today. Nine home runs so far in the season. He swings and misses at one for a strike. Oh, and one the count. And he hits one deep to left, and that one's gone. That one's gone. As soon as the wind gets a hold of that one, you know it's gone, and it's six to three Pirates, and this is what we were expecting today. Fitzgerald hits a little ground ball over to short to second base. Stinky has it, throws to first for the out. We go to the bottom of the four, six to three, and now Pirates. And here is Jeff Heath for uh, the Braves, and he takes two straight balls, two, no, the count now on Heath, and there's a fastball in the first strike. It's two and one, and that one's high. Three and one now the count on uh, Heath, and that misses as well as Clint Chambers misses and uh, ends up uh, offering up his second walk of the day. Here comes Phil Macy. There's one low and away for a ball, and there's a ground ball over to Castiglione. He goes to Murtaugh to second for one, over to Hop at first for the double play, and here comes Bill Vazell. Two outs, bottom of the fourth inning, 6-3 to three Pirates, and uh, there's a one and one count now on Vazell, and he fouls one off one and two now, and there's a little ground ball up the middle for a hit, and that's Vazell's second hit of the game. That'll bring up Bob Elliott with the runner on first base, and there's a changeup in there for a strike. Oh, and one the count. One and one now as that one misses. And there's one foul back. It's a one and two count now on Elliott, and that's in the dirt. But uh, Elliott chases after that, and that's strike three. We go to the top of the fifth inning, and here's Danny Murtaugh for the uh, Pirates. And there's a ball on Murtaugh. One and oh, the count on him now. And there's one high, two and oh. 
And uh, two and one, Murtaugh was waiting on that one and just fouled it off. Two and two as he chases one inside. Full count, Wazell misses. And uh, there's a foul ball off of third into the stands. Full count still. And Murtaugh takes ball four. And here comes Pete Castiglione with the runner on first base. Six to three. The Pirates with the lead. Striking there to Pete. And there's one grounded over to the left side. Sisti makes the play to Stanky for one, but they can't quite be, uh, finish it up at first. Castiglione just a little bit too fast. And that'll bring up Eddie Bachman. Bachman hitting 241. Takes a ball. A little bit of power, but not much. Two and oh now the count on Eddie. And there's a fastball in there for ball three. Three, no, the count on him. And there's ball four, and he walks for the eighth time this season. That'll bring up Johnny Hop. Hop with runners on first and second, only one out here, top of the fifth inning. The Pirates with the six to three lead. And there's a liner over to the right of second base. Stinky grabs that one and runs over to the bag and does it himself. And that's the unassisted double play. And uh, that will bring us to the bottom of the fifth inning. Here is uh, Sibby Sisti leading this one off for the Braves, who are trying to rally. 1 0 the count on him now, 1 1 after that foul ball. And there's one hit over to left field, but not quite far enough. The wind doesn't get that one. Kiner has it for the out, 1 away. And here's Eddie Stanky, who takes a ball high, 1 0 the count. And uh, he chases after that one, 1 1 now the count. And uh, there's a ground ball over to the right side. Chambers has it, throws over to Hop at first for the out, 2 away. Connie Ryan now. And there is a ball in there to uh, Ryan. And there's a ground ball to uh, shortstop. Castiglione has it, throws to first for the out. We go to the bot- top of the sixth inning, and here's Wally Westlake. And there's uh, two straight balls in Westlake. Two and oh, the count. There's one foul back now. It's two and one. There's strike two on the outside corner. Two and two count on Westlake. And there's a swing and a miss for that strikeout. And Voazel gets a number three of the day for him. Dixie Walker up there now takes a ball. And another ball. Two and no oh, the count. And there's a f- strike on the edge. Two and one. And there's one ripped to right center and deep. And Walker has his dinger. And that makes this a seven to three ball game. And, uh, I do think I'm going to keep Wazell in there for a little while longer, though. This is really asking a lot of him, I would say. He's fouls uh, Chambers up there, fouls one off to the right side, and there's the ball. One and one the count. And uh, there's uh, inside fastball gets away. It's two and one now. And there's a ringing single into center field, and here comes Ralph Kiner. Kiner with one home run today. That was his 10th of the season. And uh, two and oh is the count on him. And, uh, boy, I tell you, it was a pass ball. On that ball um, in there to a Kiner, 3-0 and the count, and here's the next pitch. And he takes ball four, and Voiselle just doesn't have it, and uh, we are going to end up having to make a change. So, uh, whoops, wrong button. We wanted the defensive lineup. I tell you what we're going to do here. I think we're going to put in uh, Bob Hall probably. We're going to put Bob, Bob Hall here in the number four spot, as blasphemous as that might seem. And we're going to put... Uh, Torgerson has been hitting okay. I'm trying to think, do we do Torgerson? Do we do Lakeman? I think we'll put in Torgerson, who was starting earlier. We'll have him go back and play first um, so that, because the uh, Braves could still come back. Here comes Bob Hall, and his first pitch is hit deep, deep to a right field, right center field. Russell runs back and grabs that one barely for the out. That moves Chambers up to set to third, but two outs now. Kiner still on first base. Danny Murtaugh takes a ball and then a strike. One and one the count. There's one high and inside. It's a ball again, two and one the count. There's a ground ball into the hole, and uh, Torgerson has it and uh, flips over to the uh, pitcher covering for the out. We go to the bottom of the six, and here's Jim Russell. Takes a ball wide, and then another one off the plate, two and oh the count. There's one high, three and oh the count. And uh, there's one in the, the automatic strike, three and one, and that one's low for a walk. That'll bring up Marv Rickard, seven to three ball game, but the uh, Braves could come back. That wind's still blowing out to left. And uh, one and one now the count on Rickard. And there's one inside for a ball. It's two and one. Two and one remains the count. And there's a ground ball over to Bachman to third, over to Murtaugh for one, then on to Johnny Hop for the double play. That'll bring up Jeff Heath. Heath uh, takes a ball, one and oh, the count. And there's a strike in there, one and one. And that misses up high. It's two and one now on Heath. Here's a ground ball over to Castiglione at short, makes the play, throws to first for the out. We go to the top of the seventh. Here is Pete Castiglione. And there's a little ground ball over to uh, Hall, who makes the play and throws to first for the out, one away. And here's Eddie Bachman. He hits one deep to center field. And man, Russell runs back, back, back on that one, is able to grab it right in front of the wall. Two away. And here's Johnny Hoff. You don't want to hit those to center. It's pretty deep here in Braves Field. And 0 2 is the count on Johnny Hoff. And there's a ground ball over to Stanky at second. Makes the play and goes to first for it with the uh, for the out. And here comes Phil Macy, the bottom of the seventh inning. He hits one across to the uh, left side over to Bachman, who makes the play, throws to first for the out, one away, and here's Earl Torgerson. And he hits one over to uh, center field to Westlake, who makes the catch two away, and here's Bob Elliott. 
and he hits one deep down the left field line, but just foul. 0 oh, and 1 now the count on Elliott, and he hits one over to left field, and that's going to be a base hit, and he's able to stretch that one into a double in front of Kiner's throw, and uh, now the Braves do have something going on here. Bottom of the seventh inning, two outs, seven to three Pirates, and here comes Sibby Sisti, one for three in this game, and he fouls one back, 0 oh, and 1 the count. There's a curve in there for strike two, 0 oh, and 2, and there's strike three uh, swinging. That does it. We go to the top of the eighth inning. Here comes Wally Westlake, and there's a ball in there to Westlake. One and know the count. Another ball low and away, 2-0. and oh. And there's a ground ball over to Elliott at third. Makes the play, throws to first for the out. One away. Here's Dixie Walker. And there's one at the knees for a strike. Oh, and one the count. There's a ground ball to Sisti. It's short. And makes the play, throws to first for the out. Two away. And here's Cliff Chambers. Takes a strike and then a ball. One and one the count on Chambers. And uh, he bounces one to second base. And Stanky has it. Throws to first for the out. That'll do it. And uh, up come the uh, Braves here in the bottom of the eighth inning. And here is Eddie Stanky and then a pinch hitter for Hall. Stanky fouls one off. Oh, and one the count. There's a fastball inside. It's one and one, and uh, he fouls another one back. One and two, the count on him now. Still one and two, and uh, that's fouled off again. One and two, the count remains, and that's inside for ball two. It's two and two. Here's a ground ball over to the right side. Murtaugh has it and uh, throws the first for the out, one away, and that'll bring up uh, Bob Hall's spot, and we'll have a pinch hitter here. I think we'll probably go for Constanter. So we'll go ahead and put him in and uh, see what happens here, and he fouls one back behind the plate, 0 oh and one. And there's a ball in there around the uh, belt and another one. Two and one, the count now on Clint. And uh, he fouls one back. It's two and two. And there's a ground ball right, right side into the hole. Hop has it and uh, flips over to Chambers, covering a first for the out. Two away, and here's Jim Russell. Russell one for two today, hitting fairly well. Two and no, the count now on, on uh, Jim. And there's a ground ball over to Bachman at third base, and he makes the play to first for the out, and that'll do it. And uh, let me take a quick look here and see how we can do this. So we're going to put Constanter here in center. And uh, do we want Antonelli? Do we want Bobby Ho? Um, I think we're going to do Antonelli is uh, going to be the uh, relief pitcher who comes in here in the top of the ninth. Ralph Kiner up there, two for two today with the home run, takes a strike, 0-1 oh the count, and there's one high, 1-1. One and 1-2 one. And, uh, one and two is he lets that strike go by, and there's a screwball that misses. It's 2-2 two and two now on Ralph. There's one grounded hard to the left side and through, and that's hit number three for Kiner in this game. And here comes Ed Fitzgerald, who uh, takes a strike. And there's a swing and a miss. Oh, and two, the count now on Fitzgerald. One and two, Kiner still on, th on first base. Two and two as that one misses. And there's a breaking ball low. Three and two, full count now on Ed. And there's a called strike three, and uh, that's one away. Here's Danny Murtaugh. Murtaugh fouls one back. Oh, and one is the count on him. Murtaugh 0 for three today. One and one, the count now. There's one off the plate, two and one, the count. And there's a fastball in there for a strike. It's two and two. And there's a breaking ball low, full count now on Danny. And that's outside, but Murtaugh swings and misses, and down he goes. And that'll bring up Castiglione, two outs here in the top of the ninth. Uh, Pete takes a ball, and it fouls one back. One and one, the count now on him. And he fouls another one back. It's one and two. And that's high. Two and two now, the count on Castiglione. There's a ground ball over to Sisti, and uh, he flips that one over to Stanky for an out at second base. And we go to the bottom of the ninth inning, and here comes Marv Rickard. Rickard hits the ground ball over to uh, Hop, who waves off Chambers and then drops it in the process, and uh, that means the uh, Braves have a runner on first base down by four here in the bottom of the ninth. That'll bring up uh, Jeff Heath, and uh, he takes the ball. 1-0 the count, and we'll send the runner. There goes Rickard, but that is fouled back. 1-1 one one the count now. And there's one in the dirt. Two and one is the count now on Heath. And uh, that's inside. Three and one is the count. And there's a striking at the belt. It's a full count on him. And he hits one over to left fielder. Ky Kiner goes over and grabs that one for the out. One away. Here's Phil Macy who fouls, the, um, uh, fouls one off to the right side. And then fouls one off right behind him. Oh, and two is the count on Phil. And there's a swing and a miss. And he goes down. And that with two outs means that Earl Torgerson is the last chance. There's a ball in there to Earl. And a strike right at the mid. One and one the count now on Torgerson. And there's a fastball down and in. Two and one. And uh, he fouls back that high one. Two and two now the count. And he hits one deep to right field. And that is gone for Torgerson. That makes it a seven to five ball game. And uh, the Braves are starting to come back. So Earl Torgerson, who didn't start, ends up with the big home run. And that'll bring up Bob Elliott, who... Uh, will face Bob Mooncrief as uh, Chambers exits for the Pirates. And uh, the first pitch to Elliott's a ball. The second one is another ball. There's one hit over to shallow right field. Walker comes over to grab that one, and he has it for the out, and there's your ball game. Pirates advance to, I think it's 18-3 and three now. They're way out in front in first place, and uh, they're starting to run away with this National League. I hope that you've enjoyed this game. This was a lot of fun. Pirates with the big victory, taking advantage of that wind blowing out to left field, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.